your face So turn up your speakers, lock it on your crispy shoes Welcome everyone, now let's find out what it do What it do, what your body high Hip hop, video games, topics that turn on the what brain What it do, what your body high What it do, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the podcast, What It Do with Jabari Henry, with your host, Jabari Henry. Once again, we are just chatting in, chatting the chat. Um, Today, um, as always, we got Andrew. What's Yo, Andrew? what's good, everybody? Welcome back. We got Danny. I'm fucking tired, man. <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, he's fucking tired. I'm fucking tired. And... Once again, we have the great Darius Modest joining us. Hello, Darius. Yeah, it was good, everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do yeah, it. Yeah. I'm fucking tired. <laughs> yes. yeah. Poor Daniel Indeed has tired. had a long day and has been up for 14 hours long now, day. I think. Yes. Bro, I've yeah. had a long freaking, like, past couple days. If For those who don't know, yesterday was my birthday. Oh, Ooh. so long, God. We're so just long. celebrating Wait. your birthday, Jabari. Ooh. How old is the birthday boy? Uh, I am 25. Um, nah. Yeah, um, it is. I want. I want to say it's strange being 25, because I'm like, damn, five. I'm I'm literally five years away from being 30. And I'm like, wow, I'm really old as hell. <laughs> that That's crazy. Wild. Yeah, right. No, what's crazy? Next year you're gonna be 30. No, you're you're gonna be five years away. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm not no, thinking about that right now. All good. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Right, no worries. Don't, don't, worry don't, don't bring me down with you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, enjoyed the birthday. It was nice. Um, woke up. Social battery was absolutely dead. Um, but hey, you know, we thrive. We thrive. And I think to start off, you know, officially with this thing, uh, oh, we have a game so awards that's coming up, huh? yeah very exciting i'm yeah. excited to see what the community chose as well as the paid critics and uh see who comes out on top i'm excited to see how much money sony paid to get spider-man to be um the game of the year honestly same bro honestly i'm a sony pony I'm a, <laughs> I'm a sony pony to the day i die <laughs> what the fuck i'm a sony pony to the day i die but i'm not gonna lie some years i'm like okay i don't know about that one you know like really over that yeah, game I uh, what are, what are your thoughts, Darius, on this? Oh, I definitely think Spider Man's gonna win. I think I think before anything, um, we need to list off the games that are that are that are being um in the in the running for oh for game of the year, right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay, uh, I have, have it right here. Alan Wake two. Yeah. We have Baldur's, Baldur's Gate, Gate three. three. Spider Man two. Resident Evil four remake. Super Mario Wonder. Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. Those are our nominees. Um, I know Spider Man's winning. Yeah, nah, but I like, gonna nah, win. Nice, Although nice. I don't nah. think it's well deserved, but it's not well deserved. So everyone bought Spider Man, well as far as I know. Just okay. that game has sold so many consoles. Mm -hmm. It's like the Halo of PlayStation right now. So in that you case, so. what what are what are our picks for game of the year? Even if it's not listed, go. Darius, right, you first. Uh, Spider Man. The only game I played this year is League of Legends, and oh, and that's like me. best. Uh, bro, I can smell your best, BO like, MMO from or here, whatever. bro. Best uh, that's a sad, game or sad life. Like that who got nominated. <laughs> sad, sad. Bro, life. I can smell your BO from my house. <laughs> Five hundred <laughs> games are ranked. Let's go. In fact, less people. He's clapping. He's excited. <laughs> Uh, Daniel, you? Oh, it's Baldur's Gate. Hands down. Hands down, Baldur's Gate. Hands down, Baldur's Gate? Yeah. There's Andrew? No way. I think Legend of Zelda deserves it the most for just perfecting um, Breath of the Wild. But um, I think Spider-Man is going to win. Mm -hmm. it's just Me? Is probably like the one that everyone's like, yeah, that one's not winning. Probably like, probably like the one people think is not winning the most is probably Mario. It doesn't matter. Yeah, wonder. it just came out. So, like, no, I, mean, I feel I like it know, came out and everyone it, stopped it, talking like about it instantly. It has not stopped talking about it, though. I still get a lot of posts from Mario on my social media. I haven't what, seen from a Nintendo because that's that where I get it from. For real, it's no, just Nintendo like, retweets for me. No, like, genuinely, like, from posts, memes about it, about the fucking song and the music. 
Damn. No, for me, it's um, what's it called? It's uh, almost called a Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom. When that came out, I just saw a bunch of memes and stuff about that. Um, but for but my pick is Resident Evil 4 Remake. Easy. Tony Pony. Which we know Jabari absolutely. Da Daniel, for your information, that came out on Crazy. PC and Xbox. Calm yourself. <laughs> I'd love for it to win, but I don't think remakes are winning. I don't think remakes can win game of the year. Listen, listen, okay? Hear me out. Listen, and I hear this argument all the time. People are like, oh my god, they, 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 they just have the social they just have the source material. They're thinking they're taking the game and just upresing it. No. They're building the game up from the ground the ground up. And they're changing mechanics and they're changing up the story a bit too. We're used to so Last of Us change. remakes. That's why. Yeah. That's why a lot of people a Andrew, don't take the remake. Do not seriously. get me started on that. Do not oh, get me started yeah. on that. Oh, what a wonderful a announcement. <laughs> yes. why? Why? A, a little why? off topic. I'm on, on a, on, on a uh -huh. different topic of it. What the hell is Alan Wake? <laughs> I've oh my, never Alan Wake game. is a fantastic um, horror game series. Ah, I've been playing Alan Wake 1. It. All right. it is that fantastic. Makes more sense. No, look, and what listen, I've been listen, hearing listen, about listen. Alan Wake 2, that's definitely some people's game of the years. It, even I've, ever, I've even seen some people, I think it was Mighty Keith, saying it was like um, one of the best um, stories he's ever seen in the video game. Hey, look, listen, Damn. listen. I'm not, I'm not trying to shit on it. I'm getting my background. I have no interest in horror. I'm a little bitch. Um, for all you horror fans, good for you. I'm glad that's your pick. We were eating this year, dog. We were hey, eating. Y'all got good. Alan Wake and Resident Evil up here. I know. Delicious. What's it like torturing yourselves for fun? Oh, it's so much fun. I did. I only, I've only it. heard positive reviews of Alan Wake, but like the buzz, where is it? Nowhere to be found. So I mean, for me. It's everywhere, but like um, I kind of follow horror games like that, so um, yeah, it you're a shows up on my feed every so often, and I do follow Nintendo, and that's why I just don't see any Mario, um, Wonder stuff, which is why I'm saying like I don't think it's getting that buzz. Now for so, me, that's like aside from Resident Evil Four Remake, that's the Dark Horse. So in that case, let me let me ask thing. let me ask you guys this, and I want to go one by one, uh, in first, second, or third. Like first, second, third. What are your picks in terms of the ones that are nominated? Who's getting first? Personally, or legit? Or, third? or what Whatever we actually you think? What? What? Let's do both. What you actually think and what? What you think is gonna happen? Okay. Uh, I'll I'll start. I'll start. Personally, Resident Evil Four Remake. Like, that's my that's my boo boo bear. That's my boo boo mm -hmm. bear. It should it should it should be the winner. After that, um. Probably Baldur's Gate. Probably Baldur's Gate. People are still like talking about Baldur's Gate like like crazy. That Hell game yeah, is still very popular, and I I think that's a I think that, that that's a good shout. And after that, probably I was after I, I played the first game and I really like it. I would probably say Alan Wake too. I haven't played it, and obviously I haven't seen any of the, the the spoilers. But everyone's saying it's much better than the first, and it's one of the best horror games of all time. So wow, no yeah, and Nintendo that's a Nintendo. That's a big no show. Spider. -Man. Oh, well, that's what you want. That's what I want. What I think is okay, gonna well, happen. Spider Man yeah, yeah. Two is taking it in stride. After that, if it's not that, it's gonna be um Tears of the Kingdom. And if it's not Tears of the Kingdom, it's gonna be um, Baldur's Gate. That's what I think. Okay. Okay. You gotta remember, Nintendo has some serious stake in this um game. Game the um, yeah, uh, really um game I'm not gonna lie, the, the two games they put out are fantastic. What about mm -hmm. you, Andrew? Yeah, I would have to agree with Jabari's list for what he thinks will happen. That just makes the most sense based on popularity that we've experienced. Personally, I think it should be. Um, I know very little about Baldur's Gate, but I feel like Baldur's Gate will take one. Tears of the Kingdom will take two, and I think Resident Evil would be the third spot. That is that is a ballsy, even be, even being top three. <laughs> Resident yeah, Evil. I mean, <laughs> oh man, I'm I just still feel betrayed for Spider Man. Definitely just did not <laughs> hit its full potential, so I can't advocate for it. Man, Dang. that sucks. That's sorry. Sorry. Darius, you, our guest. I think looking at these games. Like, I personally want Spider-Man to win. I, keep in mind, I, I haven't played a single one of these games, mind you. <laughs> I personally want Spider-Man to win. 
the last Legend of Zelda, not the last Legend of Zelda, but you know, Breath of the, the Wild, Wild, that one won Game of the Year when it released. Mm -hmm. So I think that Tears of the Kingdom has a good chance. An extremely good chance. Very good chance. Extremely so I would chance. say what I think would happen would be Spider-Man 2, Tears of the Kingdom, Baldur's Gate. But if I wouldn't be unhappy if Alan Wake won Game of the Year. That'd be a just, shocker, and I'd love it. Just because it's such a sleeper pick, and like it's a horror game, and not that many people play horror games. But people like the story, so... Mm -hmm. yeah. And that would be huge. If, if it wins, would like, be I wouldn't be like. upset. Yeah, they tend so, the, the what's it called? The horror game stories tend to be really good. I'm just saying. Yeah, but it's also a very niche market, I think. And I'm not saying horror is not a big. It's a big category, but you, like you, you have to be a certain type of person to enjoy no, it. Trust me, I get it. I get it completely. Why some people don't like want to play it? Um, but Daniel, so, how about you? What I think, I'm gonna start with what I want. I want Baldur's Gate to win hands down. Clearly, clearly. I'm I'm a game dinger, heart and true, and it's a fucking fantastic game. It, I've. I didn't think you could. Um, let me just suck. So good, he hasn't beaten bit. it yet. It's crazy. I know, I know. I, I, for for someone who hasn't beaten it yet, uh, let me just suck its dick a little bit. For as someone who's played D and D, I never thought you could really capture D and D in video game form. Really? They fuck. No, I mean like 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 verbatim, like how like verbatim verbatim. No, that's never gonna be done. Like I thought it'd be very easy. No, not necessarily. Like D and D is a very. The, the beauty of D&D &D is that there, you have a lot of freedom to do whatever the fuck you want. Mm -hmm. You know? Like, you can... Yeah. Like, anything is genuinely possible. Mm -hmm. This is the closest thing I've ever seen come to it, and I'm very impressed. And it, I, it hands down, in my opinion, wins. Hands down. Okay. All right, two, three. Uh, uh, two, three. I think Tears of the Kingdom goes second. These are the two games I've played out of the whole list. I'm not going to lie. Um, here's my thing though. Uh, I'm more, and then for third place, it, it's pretty much a throw up. I'm, I would not be upset if Alan Wake won. I'm, I wouldn't be upset if Mario won. I think Mario looks like a, a, a fantastic, fun game, especially with the new voice actor in. Mm -hmm. I think that looks great. Throwing that out there. Resident Evil is always a good franchise. Not, would not be upset if that won. What I think is going to happen, I think. Baldur's Gate's gonna win. I'm gonna hope people are like, oh, recency bias is a thing. We shouldn't pick Spider Man. Let's look at it as unbiased as possible. Oh, it's kind of mid, second place. Um, and then and right and from then on, it's a it's a it's a free for all. I would not be surprised if Tears of the Kingdom won though. I think the biggest surprise if if it, if it ends up taking a spot would be Alan Wake too. That probably hey, the biggest you know surprise. What? If it, does, if, if it does, if it does, it's well fucking deserved. It's well oh, yeah. deserved. Before yeah, we go have... over to the next game nomination topic, I wanted to bring up mm -hmm. best community support because well, it it makes no sense. The Wait, description for there? the description for best community support is recognizing a game for outstanding community support, transparency, mm -hmm. and responsiveness inclusive of social media activity game updates and patches right overwatch is not winning all right <laughs> no, uh, overwatch didn't even, be on that list. No, overwatch didn't even get nominated mind you the ones <laughs> that were nominated were no man's sky final fantasy um hold on let me let me do some math here 14, 14 uh, baldur's yeah. gate 3 cyberpunk 2077 and destiny 2 in my Destiny opinion, okay. Cy Cyberpunk easily wins this, in my opinion, just because of how, how far it's bounced back from day one when it launched. Because yeah, we all know how that, that's a good show. That, that was let me, horrible. Let me, ask, let me ask then in that case, is it good now? Because I literally was interested in it. Then I saw how shit it was at day one. And then I completely forgot. It's about It's kind it. of yeah, they've, hard. They've really turned it around. They've really mm -hmm. turned it around. Yeah. I might have One to generally I'm... start a new game and just like try Destiny again. should not be on here at all. <laughs> this yeah, game, think... this game is just drowning. They the before the Bungie trash. Darius, no, no, uh, can you explain that to us as a, as an avid Destiny sweat? Can you explain this to us? As yeah, a retired like... Destiny sweat, mind Wait, you. What's it like playing chores for fun? So true. Yeah. 
<laughs> while it chores may seem game. like chores the game, <laughs> it's not really chores the game. Okay, if you so were what's to the appeal? It. You just grind out mm -hmm. to grind out some more, like. I mean, the appeal is that you grind the DLC, you get the DLC weapons and all that extra stuff, raise your light, and then you do the end game content. That's what it is. But the Bungie has just not really been responsive. Like they were responsive for I'd say like a week. And then, you know, they were like, hey, we're going to be doing all these changes and people were happy for it. And then it just completely plummeted. They made a whole section of Bungie for like PVP um, management. And like mm -hmm. half of those people got fired when they did their um their layoffs. Like it's it's over. They, I think the game is completely over. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not lasting another year. This when this next DLC comes is going to flop. And then Bungie's just going to have shit in their hands. Like they're going to be fucked. So... I think Baldur's Gate also wins this because that community is still going strong, posting content on social yeah, media. For but that. it's the niggas do not. Shut it's up. more community. But I think it's more support. Of, um, like community. Mm -hmm. It's like the developers and the community interacting with each other mm -hmm. is, is what it's really mm -hmm. going for. Which is why I think I Cyberpunk's know. gonna win. Which is why I said I Overwatch isn't winning. <laughs> yeah, and Overwatch. Over, I'm so glad if they were awesome. nominated, then I'm gonna I'm gonna have to call. Now what if I would have called BS? They paid for that nomination if they were nominated. You know, so, I don't even know why No Man's Sky's up here. I thought that game died. I bro, I don't even. know. They that used that to have. I mean, they kind of. That's a couple years old now. Where they really turned it around. Still now talk it's about kind it of done. Every so often, it yeah. pops up on my feed every so often. It definitely is still the best like space game for vibes. And No Man's Sky VR is like a transformative experience, but eh, there's not too much to do in the game. You get like a strong ship, and then building outposts is okay, I guess. And then that's so it. so um, I just want to point out, it, I don't mm -hmm. think we've mentioned this, but uh, I have a friendly bet going on with our resident guest today. We have not. Darius. We have not on Game of the Year. Friendly bet of five dollars. Oh, big, big ball of big money. Bucks. Big money, big money, big, big money. Bucks. On who wins? Uh, is if it's not completely obvious, I'm I bet on Baldur's Gate winning. Darius and I definitely bet on Spider Man. <laughs> exactly. Uh, he's voted for cor a corrupt industry. I voted for the hope of the youth. Um, Baldur's Daniel, Gate is Daniel, literally think, a dating simulator, bro. Don't um, even say well, that. Listen, game. listen. Yeah. This is literally a dating simulator. Oh, no. It's not, oh, I mean, it's not goodness. a fucking good game to play to begin with. Is Are you dating real people or the computers? Like, holy crap, I can date an orc. Like, that... <laughs> you know, like, come but, on, is it, but that's just... That's part of D&D, dog. <laughs> so, like, is that game, like, use AI or procedurally generated at all? In what sense? Like generating the stories and the characters. And no, like no, no, no. So it's a, there is a genuine story, a part of it, but okay. the way that you go, that the way you go about it is completely your own. Okay, but no, there, there's not an AI changing up the story as you make your decisions. Yeah, it's still, it's still predetermined, cool. even though you get to make the decisions. Okay, well that's okay. Okay, I don't think so any guys, game has ever. I want to gotten that in depth. I think I'd like to move on to um. What they have for most anticipated game yeah mm -hmm. i have no horse in this race so go on boys all right Final we have uh, fantasy we have what, that, what, seven. listen andrew <laughs> calm down calm down easily calm down <laughs> we have we have final fantasy 7 rebirth as andrew mentioned mm. you have hades 2 we have a uh, like a dragon infinite wealth we have star wars outlaws and we have What's actually the most anticipated game of 2024, which is Tekken 8. <laughs> the most important I, I game think, to come out next year, which is I Tekken think, 8. I think I'm going to hop on Darius's bandwagon here, and I'm going to say Hades 2. Yeah, I've been, it's, I've been it's because you played for Hades, some Daniel. Hades 2. Yeah, it's, it's purely because I played Hades, yes. Exactly. Not, so, like, <laughs> your horse is still not in this race. Idea on. Your so, horse is still so not in this race. I'm going to just hop on, I'm gonna hop on the bandwagon. Not to mention, I don't know what it is about Hades, Hades gave me motion sickness. That's a, one of the few games that's oh, ever yeah. done that to me. Dashing what console did everywhere. you play it on? I played on my Xbox. Oh no, I played it on my Switch. No, never mind. I played on the Switch. I gotta see. I, I played on the Switch. But I, the thing, I, I started even... playing it on PC and I couldn't do the mouse and keyboard. It was. Oh, it, bro, I just it's use the, the control fucking, nasty. It's the yeah. it's the fucking angle, the isometric angle. That shit made me motion sick. I just could not. I was like, oh, this is disgusting. 
but purely because I've played Hades one, I'm gonna vote Hades two on this one. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> fuck you, Jabari. As much as as much as I want to agree with Andrew and say Final Fantasy seven Rebirth, because I am very, very, very Me too. excited like, about that. Even though I haven't played it, like I'm kind that of anticipating is, that game. Especially, right especially, now. especially what especially what they're doing with the story all... and stuff oh like that. Oh my god. It's like, yeah. I'm so excited, but I have to stand on business. And I'm a Tekken boy for life. Jen Kazama is my dog. Um, I have to I have to say it's Tekken 8. Tekken 8's God's gift to gaming. What, what can I say? That's, what, that's what's going to happen. Keep in mind, you said the same thing about Bayonetta 3. So, <laughs> first of all, <laughs> here's, here's, the big thing. here's the big thing. Here's the big thing, though. Here's the big thing. Get fucked. Bayonet, I saw the Bayonetta 3 trailers. And the first time I saw it, I was like, now something's a little off here, you know. Mm. It's weird. I'm such a Bayonetta. I'm I'm such a Bayonetta fan that like I heard her talk. I was like, I heard her talk and I and I saw her movement. And I'm like, nah, that's not Bayonetta. That's not my Bayonetta. <laughs> something's going on here. This is some multiverse stuff. This ain't her. This ain't her. And um, guess what? I played the game and I'm like, I'll say this. Well, Bayonetta three. This is this is off topic completely because Dari's got me started. <laughs> <laughs> Bayonetta threes combat is not the issue with the game i think the combat in the action itself is really good it's not being at a one and two good but it's really good the issue comes with the damn story that whole story was a damn fan fiction i don't know what the hell i played i went through it i'm like it's like they were trying to do like what spider-man and the mcu are doing where everyone's trying to do with the multiverse stuff because multiverse is like a Definitely. new trope now in media you know but like they did it in the worst way humanly possible they th th that game like i want to say it's how like andrew feels about spider-man 2 <laughs> but i can't say that because and because and because i i respect this game more than andrew does spider-man 2 right now yeah so definitely. it's definitely not on that bayo 3 level it's, it's, it's not on that bayo 3 level it's not on that bayo 3 level but I don't know. But usually in a Bayonetta game, I usually replay it almost instantly. I did not. I have not booted that game up since I beat it. It was it's, it's too much. I I will eventually. I got a, I got a hundred percent the game eventually. <coughs> out of chore. Yeah. It's crazy. Out, of, out, of, out of necessity. I a hundred percent the first two games. I gotta do this one. It's crazy how, like, the thing for this decade now that, like, everyone's copy and pasting are battle royales and multiversal stories. Because that's, that works, bro. That's, works. A, that's a formula for success, bro. Where, do you, you, you know how I know? Because I'm still addicted to Apex. That shit is like cocaine, bro. When you win a game, that's that's addicting. Okay, also, but Titanfall 3 should have been a thing. It I know, it really should have. It really, it, it really fucking should have. Uh, that would have been so Speaking good. Speaking of Apex, Apex is mm -hmm. out there for um for an award, surprisingly. Is it like Best Battle Royale or something? No, the, they don't have that topic yet. It is Best Ongoing Game. Oh, best ongoing. I think legal. What are the other um? There, what are the other know, nominees? Like just out of curiosity, Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven, mm -hmm. Fortnite. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, wow, so it's winning. Uh, That's crazy. Genshin yeah. Impact and Final Fantasy. <sighs> Guys, help me out. Fourteen. Fourteen. <laughs> XIV. No, that's not. not that's not fourteen. It is. What? It, it is. is. Right, cool. cool. Yeah. Hey, look, I'm not good with Roman numerals. I I'm promise. But yeah, 14. <laughs> I think Apex wins. Fortnite blows Apex out the water. They yeah. had the most, they had the largest player base they've ever had when they brought back the original map. That's true, right? Yeah, that's true. That's very For, true. Fortnite, whatever, whatever Fortnite gets nominated for, like it's bound to win. Fortnite is bound to win. It's bound to win. Fortnite is just the video game right now. Honestly, like pretty much, that is what every kid plays. Game of the year. That's what every parent knows. Like it's probably game of the decade, to be honest. If we're gonna be honest, yeah. Yeah, Fortnite changed everything. Jonesy so. for the next Smash. That would make sense. Fortnite genuinely. Jonesy for the next Smash. And it's sad because he kind of deserves it. So, hey, Steve already built. I've never, so. I've never been so saddened in with just a, a phrase. But anyways, <laughs> shall we move on to the next interesting category? best adaptation uh sure sure actually wait before we get there i did want to mention this because i know we're not gonna stay on this topic for too long right they have 
and this is another category and it means a lot to me and it's um best um best um innovation in accessibility yeah oh i all right, all right, hold on let me see i want to give a serious shout like andrew i don't know what spider-man has done to get in this position uh -huh. so i mean kudos to that but i have to throw my hat in there for street fighter 6 tell us that game that game's accessibility is the best i've ever seen in any fighting game almost in any game too the accessibility in that game is so good that a blind man won a won a won a set at a tournament and he legitimately actually knew how to play that's actually amazing that is in, that is, in, that is that is like a that's a real testament, the biggest pat in the back of how accessible i don't know why game. mortal Kombat yeah. is up here why I don't. Combat here? <laughs> I haven't checked. I haven't checked the accessibility options, so like I can't Rush say. Is on here. I guess Spider Man Two has good color I, I still want to play High Fi Rush. Though. I still want to play it. You could turn on I and off fall damage too. That's that's pretty accessible. I guess. Mm -hmm. I mean, is, is it <laughs> compared is it to really? Street Fighter Six <laughs> inclusiveness of blind? people for a video no, game i think i think street fighter 6 has to win yeah that. i'm I going street a, fighter 6 with just that alone street fighter it is phenomenal that's, it is phenomenal. And that's phenomenal that's really good i just don't know why mk is here no like, resident evil has a has really good accessibility i was able to play that game and not feel like i'm missing out at all for those for, for those that don't know that are out there i have um i have tremors in my arms so i have a really hard time playing games which is why i don't play overwatch anymore um so it's okay buddy you're not missing much yeah i i know i'm not I know I'm <laughs> but, you, you um, go and live your best self, bro. Don't worry about me. I'll I am, be, I am. I, I left I'll be there the, my the life has just despair. gotten my left has gotten so my life has just gotten so much better since I left Overwatch. I can actually let's go. I can I can look outside. I can smell the roses. Now I touch I touch grass. grass Wait, it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Okay. Speaking of touching grass, best adaptation, mm -hmm. touch grass. The movie? <laughs> Let me see these options. I mean I, I uh, I mean, what are the other what are the other options we got? Okay, so we got Gran Turismo, Touch Grass the movie, um, Ca Castlevania Nocturne, The Last of Us the the, the HBO series, uh, the Super Mario Bros movie, and mm -hmm. the Twisted Metal series on Peacock. Now, for me personally, um, the Last of Us series is like I think it's the clear winner, but. <laughs> But Castlevania yeah, Nocturne has a has a bad bitch vampire, Ooh, which okay. instantly That's makes true. it the winner for me. I don't I... know what they adapted. I don't know if she looked that bad in the games, but damn, did she look bad in that anime? <laughs> those <laughs> pixels so were like, talking to you, bud. <laughs> yo, they, they were the dog, dog. Those little drawings, they were <laughs> they were moving for me. So uh, so easily that takes that takes the cake for me. What do, what do we think is winning though? What do we think is winning, though? 100%. I think Last of Us is the clear winner. I think Mario is winning. I, I would love dollars. for Mario to win. If Mario <laughs> Me too. wins, I will be so happy. But we all know, I think, like, Game I Awards is Last of Us shills. They love that game. They love no, that Darius, series. Darius, 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 Darius. I'm letting you know this right now. I played the game. I played the game. I watched the series. And you know how I watch um, these um these adaptations? I watch it like, okay, let's see how good you did. Let's see how um if you make me feel like um the game. They're, they do, they have done some some scenes in the show that were way better than the game. I believe that. I mean, yeah, it was it was masterfully done. It, like it, it got absolute kudos to them for the work that they did on that series. See this this um and Twisted Metal was fun too. This category <laughs> is just the illusion of choice because everyone thinks that their votes are going to count. <laughs> but I think it's ten percent. It's going to be like popularity. Trust me, I'm sure they're in the back. Us. I'm sure they're in the back discussing it with them. Sony was back there with their millions of dollars. So, for real. I think mm -hmm. I think I personally want Mari to win. That's the one that I think I think obviously the with Darius's illusion of choice, not whatever. Um, Mario has a shot. Everybody's just gonna pick what they want. You know, everybody's Mario gonna pick what, what they what they like, right? That's how that shit works. I I don't know, Mar that Mario movie up there. It got a lot. Hey, I felt something watching the Mario movie. It was really good. It was, it was really good. so good, and it had so many um nods to other Nintendo. Like, bro, you could like freeze frame. A, you could pick a frame, and there's a, a reference to another franchise. 
Yeah, what's it called? He was playing uh, what was it, Kid Icarus? Yeah, um, bro. In the room you, you when see, uh, when you he... see big, uh, fucking Lil Mac in the fucking beginning of the in the restaurant. Mm -hmm. The Nintendo Cinematic Universe. But anyways, um, uh, what was I gonna say? I would, I would be so happy. It, I would be so ecstatic if Turismo won. <laughs> What the fuck? I would Not laugh in the fucking movie. so hard. That movie, NGO. I haven't watched it either. I haven't even seen that movie. movie. I have not seen it either. And I think it'd be fucking hilarious. <laughs> I think it'd be absolute class if that one. I think I think that'd be the best win. And if I was that fucking movie franchise, I would just go fucking crazy. Oh my god. But yeah, Mario, I'd like to win. But if I'm being honest with myself, I look. I'm. I would seeing be everything, if Last of seeing us most won. things. I'm like, it's, it's Last of Us. And then what I actually want to win, Castlevania, Drolta, my queen. Mm. Uh, she needs to be on top always. Haha. Uh -huh. okay, um, you said you touch, you touch grass, bro. Listen, I, I listen. I touched grass after I left. Um, after I left Overwatch, and then I saw Castlevania, and like, uh, the grass has left me again. That makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, the VGAs. Let's go. All right, Darius. I look forward to my five dollars on my Venmo. Anyway, Very funny. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna branch out into a separate topic, right? Sure. Knock yourself out. I'll, I wanna bring in the our fans' opinion on this, right? Oh wow. So recently, I've been getting recommended specific types of videos on YouTube, and I've been trying to somewhat replicate them with our cast here um i need help convincing jabari to go camping with me <laughs> oh my, oh my god, god. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god here we go here we go listen 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 all right i'm not i'll see the thing is right i'm not 100 percent against it you know yeah. i think of it and i'm like oh my god you know what's the um, roasting marshmallows over the fire having, having s'mores together Having just a jolly old time. And like I'm I'm thinking about it, right? And then I think like, oh shit. Can't wait for a bear to show up. It's gonna be nice. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Nah. Dog. Dog. We're okay. gonna be in that tent. I'll be I'll be sound asleep. Something's that okay, you mentioned it. Darcy's gonna get up to take a piss. And I'm gonna be on a high alert. I'm gonna be like, what the <laughs> fuck was that? <laughs> Why is it me? <laughs> <laughs> who's a, okay. who's a rummaging through our stuff? Who's who's, who's next to us? <laughs> so no. so I'm not saying for for our listeners or viewers or whatever. I'm not saying we go no, out. He wants to go fucking, deep in the woods for our listeners. I'm not going. I'm not saying we go in the backwoods in the, in the fucking Everglades, right? And go hunting gator for our. our no, 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 no. That's exactly dinner. what we're gonna do. Hey, that's what I, I just wanted a nice little simple camping trip. I'm not saying we go hunt out and live off the land and fucking play Minecraft in real life. No, 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 no. I'm just saying we go enjoy each other's company in the beautiful land and the beautiful world that we live in and just make a memory. Now, I have never camped. I don't know about y'all. I've never camped. I, I have a small in interest. Quick? Can I step in real quick? Go ahead. Guys, if we do this, all right? If a bear does show up, is Daniel the first one that has to fight it? Yeah, bro. Yeah, we're doing this shit Dragon Ball Z style. 1v1. That that's hopefully what the bear mace will be for. <laughs> no, actually, <laughs> actually in this case, in this case, Andrew will be kind of Tekken style because they do have a uh, they do have a playable bear in the game. <laughs> it would be oh, terrible. If Daniel that bear fighting like steps. Kazuya. <laughs> Dude, yeah. Stands upright and <laughs> starts back dashing, forward dashing. Right? No, that bear won't even know what the, the bear, fuck is coming. The bear's just doing Korean back dashes and oh doing freaking electric gosh. wing god Guys, if it's black, fight back. If it's brown, lay down. And if it's white, you die. Yeah. If it's black, fight right. back. That sounds that's not what 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 yeah. that's a, <laughs> it sounds a little charged there. Going, <laughs> whoa, 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 what's going on? Whoa, whoa. What's going on that's there, what you Daniel? do with bears. Whoa, whoa. That's what you do with bears. If it's black, fight, if it's black huh? fight back. Yeah, dog. Black bears, you fight back on black bears. What are you going to do if it's a polar bear? You're going to have a shake his hand, Daniel? You fucking die. You die. It's a polar bear. You die. That's what white uh, white death. They you know die. they're the apex predator. They will kill you. They <laughs> will, bro. I think our Man, polar it's like, bears... It's like America for real. It's crazy. No, yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, what do you think <laughs> about <Apex> blue bears? <laughs> Where do the yellow they, bears they at? Need, uh, they need some, some loving. Anyways, all I'm saying is, I look, I'm, I, I, I just want to go out 
and say that oh yeah i've been camping with my friends before you know that sounds like a nice we should buy memory. a tent from some place for black friday a big fucking tent I want it to be so goddamn massive. He wants to be, I want that to see like 20 people. That's the kind of tent I want to camp <laughs> with. I want to like bring a whole bear. <laughs> yeah, look, just invite the bear in. No, give us give him some chips look, and s'mores. So I have plenty of can, space for him. Can I can I give you context of of why this has come into my fruition or why, why? I want this to come to fruition and why this What is TikTok uh, brought you into this? For real. So so this dude, right? His name's Luke. Yeah, he, he has this YouTube channel. This dude lives out in fucking Alaska, like, like where the real bears are, you know? Like, wow, wow. And my guy goes out. So you think we're Luke? His, huh? For real. So you think we're Luke? No, no, no. I'm not saying we don't gotta be fucking Luke. I'm just saying <laughs> we could just go to like a little campground, you know, where they got like a little building just of toilets and shit. We mm -hmm. we make our tents. We make our fire. I'll send if you really want to hunt, you can go hunt for wood, and then we'll uh, we'll have fun, you know. For real. I'm so it's just this loop guy that got you excited about this. What? It's just this loop guy that got you excited about this. Well, hey, look, this dude builds his own fucking shelters. You know, he he's he's hunted, and, and look, I ain't trying to say we go out and camp in the snow and shit, because I know we're all gonna die if we do that. But hey, you know I'm built what? a bit Maybe differently, it's... Daniel. I don't think I'd huh? die. I'm built a bit hey, differently. You know I don't I know think I'll I die because I'm allergic to the cold. <laughs> so, like, all I'm saying is, I think it'd be at least, it, at least, like, we could uh, to, to to do it so that way we can say, yeah, we did that. Definitely, that's definitely what what the reasoning should be to do it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and if we don't like mm -hmm. it. If we don't like it, then we never have to do it again, and we sell our fucking camping gear. On it'll eBay. certainly be eventful. Exactly. It will be I think it'll have a few it stories for us, and that would be cute. So I totally I'll agree with Daniel. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Please, please, viewers, listeners, just comment. Hashtag Jabari go camping. For real, <laughs> spread that shit on Twitter like hashtag. wildfire. Make it a hashtag on And Twitter. we will absolutely be recording that camp visit and posting it on YouTube. Oh my god, are we? I will if we're that gonna I'll do that. I will do that. We will I will I will definitely vlog our camping site. That camping. shit's gonna end up being found found footage or some shit. <laughs> then at least <laughs> we'll be what? famous. You know what? You know what? If this video is gonna be the blur witch normal, project. What's our three. Normal, Jabari, what's our normal light count? What? Our, our, our normal light count? Yeah. Um, do you really, do you really want us expo do you really want exposing us like that? Yeah, there? bro, we're in the early stages. Expose us, you know. We're humble for real. Okay, we're and we're happy to like have four, all of you with five, us. Five, five, four, five, four, five. All right, if we can get, let's say, seven likes on the on the on the video on YouTube, we'll go camping and I'll vlog it. For real, make a nice long episode for all of us. Nice little vibe mm -hmm. there. Yeah, it's so funny because like. In this entire time, just kind of busting your balls. Like, I'd totally go camping with you. But, um... But now we're vlogging it now, Jabari. Now yeah, we're now vlogging. It's uh, mm -hmm. Now it's a project. Now we're going to go camping and vlogging. And now we're going to be YouTube stars. How does that feel? How does that feel? We're already YouTube stars. What are you talking about? Exactly. Right. This is what it do with Jabari stars? Can we oh, talk hold about... on, hold on, Andrew. Hold on, yeah. Andrew. Before you, before you say anything... And if the guy that I was watching, the Outdoor Boys, want to take me out on a camping trip, uh, I'd be interested. Um, I will also vlog that. <laughs> I don't know if about about killing an animal and hunting, but I, hey, I'll I'll eat blueberries fishing. off the floor. Yeah, fishing, fishing is fun. Do you know how to clean a because fish? Because we're old. I know how to clean an iguana. Interesting. Uh... <laughs> I saw a video on skinning it. It was very interesting. It was very interesting. Hey, you, Looked, know what, you know what? YouTube University, we can Google that. How to clean a fish. Yeah, it should be easy. Easy money. All right. Andrew, what were you going to say? I was going to say, speaking of YouTube stars, have you guys gotten caught up on that dream controversy that just came out? Oh, what he's, dream he's controversy? another exposed pedophile, he, right? Is that what we... Yes, but... So he was trying to, def like, deflect those groomer allegations by posting a video of that 19-year-old... No. Yeah, 19... The old kid who did the voicing for Michelangelo in TMNT and Gumball. Mm -hmm. 
And so he basically videotaped him just saying like words like the F slur and um, just being overall weird in an Uber ride. But yeah, and then he Dream basically said, I recorded this for blackmail, basically. He's like, just in case I ever needed it, in case he turned against me, even though I'm a pedophile. And then everyone just ended up slam dunking Dream saying, nah, you got cooked because the... The Gumball voice actor, I forget his name, Curtis, maybe? <laughs> but no he idea. basically said, you know what you are? You're a fucking grain of sand. You're a grain in the sand in the Sahara Desert, the one million, billion, trillion fucking grains of sand, and I'm a statue of gold. <laughs> Damn, he got fucking and just, good. And everyone's just saying Zoom got cooked. We don't give a shit what he said. And basically, yeah. yeah that shit was crazy. Dream's not Whoa. the only person that got out of recently. That boy, oh, um, <clears throat> Brother oh, Love. P. Diddy? <clears throat> P. Diddy, yes. Yeah, P. Diddy. Definitely P. got out of himself. You didn't hear about this, Daniel? Oh, what well, about what? Hold on. I heard about one thing. About the about the 35 page lawsuit against him? Oh my god. What? No. Civil Explain. lawsuit. Not Civil criminal. lawsuit, but still. Mm hmm. Wait, do okay, tell. explain about what is this about? Because is this about the guy that outed him as as P Diddy being the guy that hired him to kill Tupac, or no? No, uh, no. It's about this. Okay, okay. Um, it's about his a, ex, it's artist. his ex um, girlfriend, right? It's Not even just his ex girlfriend. It was an artist that was signed to I think hit the label that he owns. Obviously, uh, yeah. he got in a relationship with her when she was like eighteen, nineteen, and you know he a grown ass man. 19. Yeah, nineteen. Ew. He's a grown ass man. Uh, did a bunch of stuff oh, to no. her. Uh, he uh, what's the word I'm looking for? He enabled her. Molested. Uh, gave her a bunch of drugs. You know, uh, mm -hmm. bunch of sex parties, abuse, like etc., etc. And, mm -hmm. she's going on a civil court case for it to hopefully make some money out of it. But I think police are trying to pursue it criminally. But it's P Diddy, yeah. so we'll, apparently, apparently he tried to kill. Apparently he tried to kill. Um, what's it called? Kid, yeah, Kid he Cudi. tried to kill Kid Cudi too. Apparently, she was um Kid, talking wow. to him, and Kid Cudi's backing it up too. Um, it wow. wasn't Kid Cudi; it was one of his um like assistants or something. But uh, that's still Kid Cudi backing it up. When um if it's a, if it's when assistant. they were talking, however long ago it was, uh, P Diddy found out and he threatened to blow up one of his cars, while well, you know while he was in it, and then. Mm -hmm. One of his like assistants co signed time. it and was just like, Yeah, around that time, one of his cars blew up in his driveway. My so, God. like, so, yeah. So, so, so let me, let me ask you this then, mm -hmm. Re reworking back to what I said a little, is it, is it 100% plausible that P. Diddy paid the guy off to kill Tupac? Uh, I mean, I mean, I wouldn't I put it past them. I don't see why not. <laughs> I wouldn't yeah, put okay, it past cool, them. Cool. cool. But I, I did want to mention, I, was like, okay, I did want to mention little, that, yeah, um, yeah. today, um what's it called uh it got settled oh it did <gasps> oh he settled that thing mad quick <laughs> oh i would you know too, not only did he quick. settle it he also gave um like artists on his label he gave them back their um the rights to their music uh, but yeah. um to do that they had to sign an nda mm -hmm. about what he did uh, most likely uh, about an nda in general so like whatever whatever the nda was for like they, they can't oh. talk about it Whoa, hey, whoa. I'm just saying, this man's guilty as hell. 10,000%. Oh, and you know who called it before everybody that. else? Kanye. Mm, true. 50 Cent. <laughs> mm -hmm. Real nigga. I mean, a lot of artists have been talking. A lot of artists have been talking about Diddy for like the longest time. So, like, I mean, I don't want to say he's untouchable, but like. Hey, yo, Sean Combs is fucking shitty. Yeah, he's a horrible person. It's gonna yeah, cut, what's it called? Just, it's gonna come back eventually for him. I don't know when. Yeah, no, karma, karma, karma's a bitch. It's gonna come back eventually. Um, but uh, yeah, th that's a that was a, that was a crazy thing. That was a crazy case. Yeah, that's pretty wild. That's fucking wild. I, never, mm -hmm. I can't believe I didn't hear about that. I heard I heard about. I'm the surprised you didn't hear about it. I'm surprised too. Shout out DJ Academics. He has a two hour video on it on his YouTube channel. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. You just gave me what to watch at work tomorrow, bro. <laughs> Damn, you work tomorrow too. Yeah, dog. It's a hard. It's a hard knock weekend, bro. I'm not. An, I, I'm not much of an academics uh, fan myself. But hey, why not? It is what it is. But you, you don't like education. But you got to get big act. 
<laughs> you know, like education, knowledge. Oh, big act. No, yeah. yes. big act. <laughs> what you got against him? Like him. Oh, the shit Jabari out of hates education. I just don't like him. Educate? You, you think this man's educate? Oh, also education. <laughs> <laughs> The Drake ball gobbler? You think he's oh, yeah, I mean, education? <laughs> he's definitely the the official Drake glazer. That is for damn sure. Uh, but I mean, right, he, what, what he tapped we, in. Uh, he really tapped well, in. What do we What do we think about Drake, y'all? Uh, like, honestly, um, I mean, he's a little silly. It's a little silly I don't guy. Like Drake. I don't like Drake either. Now let me I'm... let me point this out something because I, I saw this online. I and I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna say like um like oh like i'm not gonna accuse i want to post that i want to put this out for conversation right so i saw something where like pe people back in like the uh, 70s 80s 70s and 80s and 60s they um they don't say anything about like their art like artists back in that time how and how they used to um predate on younger on younger females like elvis for example true mm-hmm and no one says anything about it because obviously they're rock stars, blah, 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 blah. But nowadays, no one no one is standing for that shit. But yet... Drake is definitely a groomer. Drake is definitely a groomer, right? He's definitely like, a groomer. Exactly. Okay, cool, cool. So, uh, so that's what they. That's exactly what they said following that. Um, thoughts, opinions on that, guys? Not only do I think he's a groomer, he's also from what i've seen not even what i've seen on twitter because i've seen it on twitter but i i was already uh, a vehement believer in this beforehand but he's definitely like low-key a crime boss in canada and like does terrible well, things what the so, hell like in and he canada. killed x fuck drake i love how he went from video games to drake definitely killed x and listen to my conspiracy podcast at 10 <laughs> hey bro that's just hey we went <laughs> we went from we went from video games to camping to drake killed x you know what I think that's a very good range of topics yeah. we're covering, uh -huh. but you know what? Uh, one thing I did want to answer earlier, Daniel, before um, before I'm like, yeah, Drake's 100 percent a groomer. Um, you asked you asked about, I, I'm I'm assuming his music. What we think? What we think about it? I, know, I was just talking about Drake as a person. Uh, as his a person? music's ass, in my opinion. I think for me, it could be hit or miss. I think it depends on um a who he's um who he's working with. Am I listening to a Drake song straight up with just him alone? Most likely not. Nah. If he's with Twenty One Savage, they got a they got a nice track record together. I, I don't think know. I think one of my only, favorite rap songs is Forever, and Drake is on there. It's a Drake. I song. think the only song hold that holds weight is Passion Fruit, and even then, I don't even go out of my way to listen to it. That's, That's crazy. Drake has some hits, dog. He has he, some really. He I don't give a shit. Some hits. He one of the biggest artists out. Like can't really say much about that to be totally mm. honest that's true that's true i'm just saying yeah. my opinion though His, yeah i'm not the, i'm not one to like features push are good, them off. but fuck drake that's that's how i always felt fuck drake i mean Hashtag yeah i mean what's it called drake is a person i probably we'd probably not get along whatsoever mm -hmm. but um music wise i'm not gonna I, I wouldn't completely doubt him he's not like my favorite artist ever you know but to say I'm going to denounce all of his music altogether, I'd be lying to myself. I listened to Jimmy Cooks today. So, like, <laughs> it, 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 it is what it is. But uh, continue, Daniel. I think you were saying something. I don't know. I just wanted to bring that up. Food for thought, you know, just just to where we stand on. Oh, no, we're not where we stand. Because I've always just been not a fan of Drake. I don't really like his music. I don't like his style of rap. Um, he's a if anybody zimmer. wants to go after me, they can. That's just my opinion. So if uh, you really want to go sure. after me, that's very sad. But go ahead. A little more food for thought. Um, uh, if yeah. if a girl you're talking to has Drake or Future as her number one artist, that is a red flag. For real, ten thousand percent. Because like, why? I would go why? as far as to say if they're a Taylor Swift fan, she will take advantage of you. If she's a Taylor Swift fan, you know, just throw throw the whole girl away. Wait, wait, bro. one Come second. On. Country music. Andrew, what are your thoughts <laughs> on this? Andrew, what are your thoughts on this? Taylor Swift, oh, Taylor Swift rules yeah, the world no. now. By counting her out, you're counting like sixty percent of women out. And oh, also, I, I like I count out the whole so. country music genre. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I'm uh, married, bro. Naris, Naris, I'm sending you virtual high five right now. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck country music. <laughs> it is not. Nah. So, that's a no -go. Most of Taylor Swift's music is not even country. I know it's pop. <laughs> yeah, it's pop. It's, mm -hmm. it's pop. It's pop. It, it was fucking, this this is me like, just this is me just denouncing the entire genre in general. <laughs> What Thanks you're gonna talk that. shit on Katy Perry? Uh, you're gonna talk shit on Pink? You're gonna talk shit on yeah? They do especially country? Pink. The hell? 
think is great. Did you bring up Wait, Pink you were defending pop anything? Or are we country? Wait, I'm confused. The They're stuff. pop artists, but they also <laughs> contribute some country music as well. Ah, mm -hmm. I see. Uh, I'm just denouncing Taylor Swift. I, I don't know about you guys. Um, I won't denounce I, Taylor I, Swift either. I like a couple of her songs. I, I will definitely denounce her. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. This is a very select few people, but um, I think it's odd that Reddit has a lot of am I the asshole stories about people gonna struggling either choosing to go see a Taylor Swift concert or choosing a family event like a funeral or a, a marriage or something like that more I find that seeing more than two of those stories about that is very concerning and I qualify that as a red flag definitely yeah your name I just is, think Taylor Swift is taking over the world. Her songs and the wavelengths inside them have mind-altering properties. And uh, yeah, I, I agree. Really... Beyonce, Beyonce is taking over the world. You're right, Andrew. <laughs> she already took over the world. What do you mean? She must have handed it down to Taylor Swift because it's Swifty it's world now. Uh, what are you, uh, I'm, I'm too so... much respect for Beyonce. Andrew, I'm she sorry? That. She handed down what? I don't know. <laughs> I would say Taylor Swift is going to be... This is getting fucking edited out, Andrew. I hope you realize that. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> man. Taylor what? Swift is really doing a fucking tear right now in the music industry. Taylor Swift is the white woman that's, uh, that, that panders to the sad people. All right? Oh, maybe Taylor, that's, that's why I like got. the music. That's all she's <laughs> You just called Andrew sad, bro. Fair enough. <laughs> hey, look. I don't, you care, listen to I don't Taylor care what music? you think about Taylor Swift. You don't call Andrew sad. Andrew's have you listened have person. you listened to Taylor Swift's music? Who, me? Me? No. Obviously, Andrew's okay. listening. <laughs> Andrew, Look, listen, if choose... we put if we put Andrew in a room and say like name this Taylor Swift song, oh, I got that you. shit. Yeah, no, I'm. A, I'm a he's got he's got on there. I've never I've never listened to a single Taylor Swift song. I just exactly think her fan base is extremely toxic. Nah, I mean like the My Hero Academia it, fan. It all changes after you go through that one breakup that just completely changes you as a person. That's what I hear. That's what. Hey, look. I know you guys don't like country, but that's what I hear. What country does for you? Yeah. I'm not, I'm not talking. I'm not talking specifically about Taylor Swift. No. I'm talking long, about like country. If, long, if my if my heart gets shattered, I'm not gonna go down and listen to Achy Breaky Heart to bring my spirits back. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely going to Marvin's room before I do that. Like, oh hell, let's be real here. Right? <laughs> let's be real. Well, Look, I'm gonna I'm speak on on someone else's behalf and you stand on your screen. business. Stand on your business. So so I don't know if y'all don't if y'all didn't know this. I'm a big Gabriel Iglesias fan, and really? he said right, and he, when he was down in the dumps, he somehow this country song came on, and it spoke to him. Now I'm not saying I like country. I'm not saying I hate it. It is I, I don't like it as of right now. Who knows? Maybe that might change. Mm -hmm. so i would say don't denounce that denounce taylor i Swift. mean i've had my own stuff everything's subjective music subjective but i can get exactly. all Ex i can get taylor all Swift. of those Fuck feelings that all of that guttural because when i went through a, a, a tough breakup what's it called soul and r&b took me took me places facts you know what you know they maybe it's not places. even maybe it's not even denouncing taylor denounce her fans bro I, bro i'm telling you uh, there are so i uh, the uh, the amount of toxic stories I've seen about Taylor Swift fans on Reddit is is, is starting to concern me a little I bit. I mean, bro. Like, dude, Taylor I've Swift has personally. like a hundred million fans. fans to begin with. A few concerned. of them are bound to be bad. I think it's just that Taylor Swift is generally the center of like half. The I mean, thing. I think anybody, I think anybody with a massive fan base like that, they're going to have many bad apples within them, yeah. especially with stand culture. You know, that's now. fair. That's so very like, fair massive beyonce fan as i've said in the beginning of this uh, in like a, at some part of this podcast not too long ago but her fan base the beehive jesus christ yeah they are annoying and i think even worse freaking the barbs the barbs are like menaces oi 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 who, who's that again i'm sorry Nikki. Huh? Nicki minaj oh that's her right. fans they'll be under posts that have nothing to do with Nicki Minaj, and then and they will put, they will insert her within within that um within that topic somehow. Nicki Minaj even famous anymore? Mm -hmm. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, it's Nicki Minaj. <laughs> She's definitely famous still. Oh. She's definitely famous still. Okay, so I, I guess in that case, because uh, I, I guess she, uh, you know, I'm um I'm um not stick up for the Barb's, but throw up a Barb's argument. Who is the best female rapper then? Uh, sorry, say it again. 
So who is who is the the best female rapper in your opinion, guys? Nicki. I'm not gonna lie. I was I was an old Nicki stan when she was dropping music back in the day. Like she still got them bars. Ah, Darius admits he is a barbs. True. I'm You're a barb tired man. barb. <laughs> <laughs> uh, best female Jabari. rapper. Yeah. Um, for me at this at this very moment in time, I am a massive Flo Millie fan. Don't look Thank at me like goodness. that. No, I, I was. I thought you were gonna say Megan. Oh my! No, gosh. I wasn't gonna say Megan. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say Megan. Like I saw your eyes. Your eyes were looking at me like Javari. Use waiting, your next words he carefully. He was waiting for you. He was. He was gonna judge you. I was, I was no, it's it's Flo, Flo Millie. Flo Millie is way too good. Way too good. She's starting to go into her little pop bag, which I don't know if I'm too big of a fan of. But um, it is what it is. It is what it is. I think she's got bars for bars. I think a sleeper is Baby Tate when she wants to rap. Shout out my queen Rico as well. Rico has all mm-hmm. hits, no misses. That's what I honestly thought you were going to say. Yeah, I'm surprised. I you mean, said you Nikki. said the best female rapper, like Rico Nasty, Nicki Minaj. You put their, you put oh, their discography. I mean, if we're saying of all time, for, the, the conversation like, changes completely. Like, if we're saying of all time, the conversation changes. I was saying like as as of right now. I mean, even as of right now, like Rico's been kind of like under the radar. Very much so. But if we're gonna talk all in time, my favorite female rapper is Missy Elliott. I love Missy. I yeah, I love Missy. Yeah, no, mm-hmm. that's a, that's a very fair point. But, it, that's, but that's like saying that's, like she walked so everybody else could run type shit. Yeah, so, like, that's also a very good point. I know, but you were saying as of now. I, I mean, not as of now, but I took it as of now. And like as of now, I'm like, okay, it's like who I'm enjoying right now in the female rap skit. It's 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 Flo Millie. Mm-hmm. From ranking is Missy Elliott. Just now. just gathering your opinions, letting them know. Mm-hmm. How about you, Daniel? About... Well, who's your favorite female rapper? Hey, you know, that's a good question. Anyways, and, 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 <laughs> you don't want to ask the question. <laughs> I just well, I was just curious because you know, mm-hmm. a lot of people say Nicki Minaj. Mm-hmm. Now, I I'm not opposed to say no. I I don't think I really have an opinion on the matter because I think there is a female there is a rapper or female rapper that speaks to somebody. None mm-hmm. have really spoken to me yet. No? None have spoken to you? No. Mm. Unless you can think of one on my behalf. I can't really think of one. Doris, you got to get Lay rapping soon. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? You know what? I take that back. Lay is the greatest artist, rapper, singer, opera singer, country singer. <laughs> She's the best artist to ever exist, period. <laughs> oh, say, Andrew, I'm tell us how Taylor Swift's the best uh, female rapper that you know. <laughs> I mean, Lay doesn't. Lay doesn't. Hey, what do you mean, nice save? Lay doesn't rap. She sings. <laughs> no, that's so that's what we want. No, that's all. We, no, that's all we say. That's all we say. Uh, that's why I told Darius we need to get late. We need to start getting. Get yeah, the bro. If she, hey, so if you she, if she raps, ghostwriters. True. Uh, I'm, I'm sure she's got she, the talent to write herself. Yeah. No, um, yeah, she definitely does. She definitely does. Take you take that back, Darius. But I mean, for not that she can't write for herself i just don't think she would be willing to write she would be willing to write a rap that would blow up type shit because like you gotta be pretty degenerate of course she would. to blow up you, you get what i'm saying know. jabari daniel stand with your girl bro stand with your girl of course she would because i look i, I, I look at the rap like landscape like, oh right God, now with female rappers and there's True. i have zero out of ten fi- like and it's not even a bad thing keep in mind that i have zero out of mm-hmm. ten f- faith that lay would be out here spitting bars like she ice spice or something because that <laughs> why yeah I, yeah i don't see that? i don't see I'm not, I'm not seeing lay like putting out sexy red bars like <laughs> what? like that's a no for sure listen all i'm saying is all she I'm has saying class is, right? there it is that's what it is she has exactly class. exactly she she's she's the most classy woman i'll ever meet right all i'm saying is if she were to ever put bars to a flow to a rhythm if she were to ever flow it would be the most amazing thing anybody has ever heard. Period. And you can end it on that. Nice save, nice save. All right, nice that save. concludes our podcast. What do you mean, nice <laughs> save? What do you mean, nice close save? save? Close save, close save. That's not a close <laughs> shave. What do you mean? I'm backing my woman up. Wait, well, but y'all can fight me, like bro. Rocket Maybe what, a what a save, what a save, what a save. You're standing on business. I told you to stand on business. You stood on business. Dog. What the fuck do you mean? That's just a fact. I, fuck yeah, you. you stood on business. You're standing on business as we speak. I don't appreciate y'all putting me on the spot like this as if I said something wrong. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and, from, and on that note, I want to thank you for listening. I'm going to tell Lay on you guys, bro. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, no. 
she's in she's in the comments and like do a line a line dance in front of me or something. She's from Tennessee, right? <laughs> hey, look, look. <laughs> You'd be you would be graced. You'd be you should be honored if she ever did that. Then a line dance for me? Damn right, because God knows that ain't never gonna happen. <laughs> Fuck you, Jabari. <laughs> Love you too, Daniel. Okay. <laughs> Again, I'd like to thank the audience for listening to our um our wonderful conversations now here. I would like to thank Remember guys, remember guys, hashtag Jabari goes camping. Seven likes. We'll go camping and vlog it. Let's get these get seven to seven likes. likes. Yes. Seven likes. Um seven but yes. Likes. I'd like to um thank Daniel as always for being on here. You know I love you, Daniel. Yo, I'm fucking tired, bro. This took I know more. you are. I know more you are. Me. I want to. It makes good content. Um, Andrew, thank you. It's always a pleasure, and thanks to everyone for tuning in. And again, let's thank our guest Darius. Thank you guys for having me. In the comments, I want you guys to let me know why you think B Stars is anime of the decade. Thank you for your time. <laughs> oh my Darius, God. Darius, talk to <laughs> him, man. Talk to Shut him. up, Darius. Talk to we him. can't open that can of worms. <laughs> Darius, we're, trying Dar- Darius, we're trying to get Darius. Jabari camping. What's peak anime? B stars, of course. B stars. Blue lock. What's, no, 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 no. What's peak Blue fiction? Blue lock. Peak fiction, right there. B stars. Blue lock. B stars. Blue lock. <laughs> Daniel, keep talking that stuff. I'm just, I'm just gonna okay, mute it but, out. But where is um, the Blue Lock season yeah. two though? It's coming, it's coming, bro. You gotta Blue give it. So good. We're, we're already on B Star let... season three. Like, come on, bro. Step buddy, the game up, buddy. We're already up, buddy. We you got, you can't rush perfection, my guy. You can't. Well, perfection's rush already art. out, and it's the first two seasons <laughs> of B Star. <laughs> Blue so. Lock. <laughs> it's the first season of Blue Lock. You're so right. The first season of Blue Lock. A hundred percent. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. B Star is kind of different. Um, Legoshi's kind of go a uh, goaded MC. I don't know. Listen, you fucking closeted furry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, guys, get your money up, not your funny up. Not your How dare funny. you? Remember, I can't Hashtag stand this man. Jabari goes camping. Woo! Get your money Jabari up. Jabari goes camping. Not your funny up. Bye bye. Seven likes. Hey guys, it's Andrew and Danny. Thanks so much for listening to today's episode. Be sure to follow us on Spotify at What It Do with Jabari Henry. And you can find us on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube at What It Do Pod. And if you don't, you fucking suck. That's facts.